Hello, my name is Monica Wood. I am an orthopedic hand surgeon at Northwest Hand and Orthopedic Specialists. I decided to be a surgeon when I was about 11 years old. I had seen a, a video showing an open heart surgery and thought it was a really cool thing. Uh, I'd also had a deep and dividing interest in hands from a very early age. Listening to the patient and getting a full history is very helpful in getting details that you might not otherwise get with just asking questions. Uh, then uh, ordering studies appropriately. And I would say most people don't need surgery and I try very hard to keep surgery appropriate. I like to see patients as individuals. I think it's very important to treat the patient for who they are and how that fits into their lifestyle, particularly dealing with the hand. The hands are involved in all of our day-to-day -day activities. Since we're each individual in how we combine work, leisure, and social activities, we all have different needs for our hands. Some people only need a coarse functional grasp. A violinist, on the other hand, needs very fine motions to their fingers. I enjoy treating hands because we use them so much in our everyday activities. They really define us as people. When there's an injury to the hand, we lose some of our identity. There was a, a case where a woman that some of us knew was in the hospital. She had a particularly bad bacteria in her blood cultures called uh, strep pyogenes, which is one of the potentials for the flesh-eating bacteria. I got to the hospital as quickly as I could and noted that she had redness all the way up to her elbow, even though she only had a little puncture on the back of her hand. And despite powerful antibiotics, she had marks where the infection had marched up her arm. This was consistent with necrotizing fasciitis, which is also known as the flesh-eating bacteria. We got her to the operating room right away. We were able to open up her arm and get rid of the infected tissue. Uh, with antibiotics and surgery, we were able to not only save her arm, but prevent her from getting a blood infection and possibly dying. The residency statistics in 2010 are that 12% of orthopedic residents are women. As they get out into practice, the current statistic is about 6% of orthopedic surgeons are women, but only 3% of board-certified orthopedic surgeons are women. I see a fair number of lumps and bumps on hands. A lot of people have small lesions such as a ganglion cyst, which is a little sac of fluid. Oftentimes, though, it's something different. Common bumps are things like giant cell tumors of the tendon sheath, which are also benign lumps. But every once in a while I see something different. When I'm going to do surgery on somebody, I try to educate them fully about what their options are and then what the procedure is actually going to entail. I try to be very specific about what their expectations sh should be, about what the outcome can be, and about what problems might arise. I also like to tell them that my job is to align things. Their body has to heal. The culture here is very warm and friendly. The physicians interact very well with each other. The staff are dedicated to customer service and making sure that the patients are taken care of. For our personal interests, I enjoy the outdoors. I like biking, swimming, hiking. We recently got kayaks and have been out in various bodies of water in the Puget Sound area. I'm Monica Wood. I'm a hand surgeon over at Northwest Hand and Orthopedic Specialists.